guys, how's it going? Phil Montelli owning the book peddler, in case you didn't know me by now. <laughs> Coming to you, I got another video. Um, I basically went to pick up a ton of book sets. Uh, boy, are they heavy. I feel like I got a freaking hernia. <laughs> Let's hope not. But, uh, you know, they're very clean. They're better than I expected. You know, a lot of dealers that I noticed, um, that I've noticed, maybe they don't like to deal with a, with a lot of book sets. Um, some of them won't even go in on them because, you know, they're a lot to haul around. They take up a lot of space. They're a pain to list, but I've gotten pretty good at it. So my eyes kind of light up when, um, when I see some beautiful looking book sets. Uh, and also thanks to Don, another Don, you like the 10th Don that I know. Uh, he sold me some uh, books in the shop and so I'll show you some of them. Thank you, Don, for, um, for selling. And it's supposed to be more to come. I want you best up, brother bring it to me all right and uh then uh let me before i get started say thank you to ian out in alaska he bought a gorgeous two volume set for me one of my favorites that i've had in the shop ian's way up in alaska uh seems like it's gonna take months for this guy to get his book so ian i hope the penguins don't get to him brother <laughs> hope you enjoy them and let me know please when you get them and also thank you to Zach out in Connecticut. Zach has purchased books, and I hope you enjoy them. You got a beautiful book collection uh, yourself. I got a, you sent me pictures of it, and uh, man, if you ever want to sell, let me know, man. I'll be out. But um, anyhow, uh, also a couple things. I will be doing a live stream uh, this weekend, maybe either Sunday or Monday, probably around seven or eight. I will put up a, like a premiere card. So you know when I'm going to to do it, because I got to learn this live stream better. And so I welcome you all to join me. Uh, you can ask some questions, talk some junk, whatever you want to do. I'm game for it. Um, and if you don't want to come in, whatever, I'll just talk to myself. It'll be like a normal day for me. <laughs> so <laughs> talking talking to myself, thinking of, everybody thinking I'm crazy, but life of a book guy, huh? It's working in solitude. So, but no, I have to learn the live stream because I actually have a business idea that I've been uh, wanting to do that involves uh, live streaming, and so I got to get it down. And another thing is, I don't mean to extend this introduction, but whatever, I'm filling y'all in, so you can fast forward if you don't want to hear. I'm, I'm, uh, Google is paying me ad revenue for, um, for my videos, which makes me really excited. It's drops in the bucket, but it's exciting me because like the concept kind of proved itself. I was never expecting this. I started a channel to do, um, uh, you know, predominantly to to promote biz, my business. And, and it, it, it's worked really well. It's a wonderful free tool that everybody in business should be utilizing. Hold on. Sketchy turn. All right. There goes all the books. It, um, and it, it's truly been wonderful, though. I've been able to connect with, with a lot of you guys. It's, it's, it's unbelievable, which I never would have been able to do without this. I've connected with you on the road. Wicked cool. Haven't meant like any wackos yet but I'm sure that's to come and <laughs> well you'll hear about it <laughs> so if you're one of these nuts you know don't 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 contact me man I'll I'll figure it out uh, hopefully quick and uh, anyhow okay <laughs> so um but what I'm doing with that money being saved aside I'm saving it right aside I'm gonna reinvest into my channel I'm gonna buy a new laptop gonna buy some editing uh, uh, software I'm gonna learn how to do it a little bit better uh, you know and maybe sometime it, it'll be able to even like finance trips to, to to go out of state to interview more booksellers you know and, and have these interactions go to book shows and be able to more professionally do it. I'll still do raw videos I mean that's how I got you know to my uh, subscriber base now you guys obviously enjoy it and um, so I'm gonna keep doing that hold up somebody's pulling out See, with editing equipment, I could edit that right out, okay? Uh, but, um, now I'm losing my train of thought. Um, but make more, better qu better quality videos for you folks out there. Um, I want you to keep enjoying the channel and keep coming back. And maybe my introductions won't be as long either <laughs> with some editing software. So, all right, that's it for now. Get into the shop. I'm gonna show you the finds. Of course, if you see anything, guys, reach out and I'll make it work for you, okay? 
we'll see you in a minute all right back in the shop here's one of the sets i got put it up on the shelves uh, there's a glare history of nations uh deluxe edition i'm sorry about that glare guys but uh i'll, I'll take one down beautiful set look at how long that is heavy as heck this is probably the set that that gave me a hernia let me get it out of the glare now it's supposed to be a 25 volume set this is 24 i could have swore i counted 25 so maybe the index is somewhere and i'll have to find it uh here's the very last volume so you know you ever like go to go to a hotel and you see these these kind of sets they look beautiful on a shelf it's like a decorative uh piece but very nice set there let me put this back all right so anyhow yeah that looks that just fills the the, the top shelf there what i'm going to do is actually this shelf I'm going to put like all my new newest finds going down here. I'll situate it all. So when people come in, they'll know like these, this is the newest stuff. So before it hits the shelves or the internet, you know, they can buy it right off of this. So, okay, let me show you some of the rest. I really like this set. This is a 30 volume. The Roxburgh Classics. A bibliophile library of literature, art, and rare manuscripts. It's complete. It's clean, hand-cut pages. Beautiful set. They each have their own front. This is a monk sitting there reflecting. There's the title page. Um, wonderful set. This is number 814 of 1,000 copies. Now let me take you over to this door. A boy Highlander is going to love this set. Maybe some of you will as well. Sacred Books and Early Literature of the East. 14 volume set. They all have a different, a different graphic on the front. And if you're into this stuff, this set actually I just looked up. It just sold uh, yesterday, matter of fact. So this is number 57. Out of uh, 2,000 numbered and registered copies. Pretty awesome. Some of the boards have a little a little scuffing. It covers all sorts of, you know, ancient Persia, India, Arabia, Hebrew, medieval China. All on the east. So what a, what a nice set. Collector's going to love that set. Now I bought this set here. Because I have a guy that likes Schiller, Goethe, however you say the name. Um, it has its issues, but it's 1898, if I'm not mistaken. Carlisle edition. So this is numbered, uh, is that a 60? Yeah, 60, limited to 1,000 sets very nice i think he would like that on his shelf if not maybe it's up for grabs for one of you guys huh all right let's take you in the shop god i'm real pissed about that volume 25 i don't know where the heck it heck it went all right let me take you down here uh works of thackeray deluxe edition missing two volumes so that's kind of a bummer but this set I really liked. It's a 20 volume set. It's called The French Immortals. It's all French literature. So it has its issues here, you know, like some foxing to the to the uh, mostly to the spines of the books. They're all paper plates. I'll take you inside on this one here. Front this. So I bought these with having an individual in mind, 1923, um, that comes to the shop. He likes the French literature. He collects He collects it. So basically, kind of shopping on his behalf, in a sense. And um, if he, he, I, I already listed the set, but, um, you know, again, you can't depend on people to absolutely want it. And so I can't wait for people. 
Sometimes I can. Depends on uh, who they are. Uh, Complete Works of Thackeray, 26 volumes, Harper and Brothers. Very large set. It does have some scuffing, discoloration in some of the spines, some like darkening. Uh, very clean interior for the most part. As I say that, you see foxing on the tissue guard. Harper and Brothers. So, illustrated throughout. Cool set. And this one over here is a 10 volume set Shakespeare. Again, nothing like overly special, but I think somebody would like a set like this on their shelves. Um, you know, who can't afford the higher end publications of, of Shakespeare. It's a it's a nice though like starter set, basically. Or not even, doesn't have to be. PF Collier and Son. Complete works of Shakespeare. And they do have some issues to some of the binding, like that one in particular. I'll re-glue it, back strap on the back. It, it, it should be okay. Um, you know, so there you go. I'm trying to think. I got this three-volume set here. Foundation Stones by Sharp. Kind of like etiquette and social conduct and whatnot. Um, it, you know, that that's what it's kind of teaching. Different advice. So, again, though, it, it I, I really do enjoy the book sets. That one is just gorgeous. I, I just love the bindings of these. But anyhow, so that's basically the uh, the majority of the sets that were bought. I have some others, but I wanted to just show you the better ones that I, I like best. And they will be uh, going up on my online store. If somebody sees something, of course, uh, reach out and we can do a little bit of business. So guys, maybe I'll see you at the live stream and thanks for joining me again on, on this channel. I hope you enjoyed it till next time. We'll see you guys.